Hi, my name is Jason Agers. I'm the executive chef from Blanc Burgers and Bottles. Uh, today we're going to be using the smart chicken to make a Thai chicken burger. Uh, what we're going to start with is uh, we're going to saute some red onions. So uh, basically we just kind of want a, a rough chop on them. We're going to puree them anyways. So what we're going to use to saute them with is a little bit of sesame oil and some red Thai curry paste, which uh, you can actually find that at pretty much any of your local uh, grocery stores in the Asian section. But what you're going to be looking for with these onions is uh, a little bit of caramelization on the outside, uh, some color. You don't want them translucent. We're not trying to cook them all the way through. We're trying to preserve most of the flavor. So a little bit of caramelization, uh, a little bit of uh, dark brown on the outside, and it's probably about a two minute process. All right, so we just got done sauteing our red onions with the Thai curry paste. Um, we cooled them off in the walk-in, make sure they uh, hit kind of a cooler temperature. We don't want them to break the mayo. Um, then what we're going to do is we're just going to take uh, some of your regular mayo. We're just going to go right into the food processor with it. And then we have those, uh, those onions we sauteed and cooled. Those are just going to go right in the food processor as well. And you're just going to let that run until uh, the onions basically combine with the mayo. Um, you don't want them chopped completely because you want a little bit of texture in there. Uh, now that's mixed for just a little bit of extra flavor, we're going to add some fresh chopped ginger right into that. Uh, you know, not too much. Hit it again. About 30 seconds on that, just once again a rough chop. And then we're done. That's pretty much what you're looking for. All right, now we're going to make our uh, chicken patties for the burger. Uh, we're going to start with one pound of the smart chicken. Uh, just throw it right in the bowl. We've got some more ginger, uh, cilantro, hoisin, fresh chopped garlic, a little bit of sesame oil. Uh, this is called sambal olek. Uh, basically, sambal is a uh, it's just a chili paste. It's, they put no other spices, no other flavors in there. It basically brings up the heat without uh, totally changing the flavor. A uh, little rice wine vinegar. And then we're just going to mix all this with the chicken. All these flavors are going to combine so well with the smart chicken. They're going to be fantastic. The smart chicken really picks up any of the flavors you put in it. Now that we have everything mixed into the chicken, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, basically, this is one pound, we're just going to portion it out into two burgers. Uh, the chicken is it's very soft, it's very tender, so you don't have to form them up into a perfect patty. Basically, they're going to take their shape once they're grilled anyways. They're going to shrink up a little bit and just kind of, they're just looking for something like that. You just want it separated from the other ones so you can make more than one burger there. The reason we mix it with the chicken, uh, as opposed to putting everything on top, is all those flavors are going to combine with it. The smart chicken really picks up, you know, the sesame oil, the hoisin, and that sambal. Um, it's just, once it's cooked, it cooks it into the meat and it's, it's going to pop real good. It's going to have some really good flavor. And now that we have our chicken mix, we're going to take it to the grill. You want to make sure your grill's hot, at least 400 degrees, and that way the chicken won't stick to it. Make sure you have a really good non-stick spray that you can hit the grill with real quick. Like I said, when you form it into patties, it's not going to be real strong. So you're basically going to take a handful of it, just kind of lay it on the grill. You've got to let it sit for about four to five minutes before you even touch it. That way it builds up a, a good cooked surface on one side, and then we're going to um, turn it about 45 degrees to get the grill marks on it. Once that's done, you know, another uh, two to three minutes, we're going to flip it and then uh, let it get its final cook on, uh, on the other side, uh, probably about another five minutes total, and uh, that's pretty much it. At that point, you can take it off the grill, and we're ready to build our sandwich. To go with this sandwich, we're going to use a, a, a sesame bun. I think the sesame bun will pair very well with it just because um, you, know, you think Asian, you think sesame seeds, sesame oil. Uh, so we definitely do pair the burger with the bun. So from start to finish, you just have a great combination of flavors. All right, so we've pulled our burgers off the grill. They're uh, you know, ready to go. We've got our bun toasted up. We're going to uh, make a little bit of Asian slaw that's going to go right on top of that. So we're going to start with some nap cabbage, a uh, nice thin slice on that, green onions, some uh, julienne carrot, and uh, a little like just pick cilantro. You know, you want pretty big leaves on that. Um, you want a good bite of it. Um, black sesame seeds toasted. Just toast them up in a pan real quick. Some more hoisin. Some more sesame oil. And a little bit more rice wine vinegar. 
We're just gonna give that a good mix. We just wanna basically have all that hoisin, all that flavor, just uh, really coat the cabbage, coat all the vegetables, get it mixed very well in there. You get a nice bright color when you're done too. It just makes that burger look awesome as well as uh, all those flavors that are gonna combine in there. All right, now we're ready to make our chicken burger. Our patties are done off the grill. We got our bun nicely toasted, good golden color on that. Our slaw's ready. Uh, basically what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our bun, take a little bit of that mayo we already made, go right on the bottom with it. We want some on the top too. It's got a lot of flavor. It's really gonna accent this burger. This is a good coating of it. You're gonna take one of these chicken patties, we're gonna go right on the burger with it. We're just gonna top it with the slaw. Just a good amount, just like that. And then for presentation to your guests, your dinner guests, whatever, you just wanna take it, lean it up like that. And that's the presentation we're going for, and that's our Thai chicken burger. <laughs>